Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make those super popular vinyl wrapped cups. So you can do this with a bunch of different types of cups, but the most popular seems to be the beer can is what they're called, cups. Um, so they look like this. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the cup. But it's where your vinyl is wrapped around your entire cup. So they're really fun to make and really simple to make. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. We made two different ones. We made a Valentine's Day tumbler wrap and this is with color changing vinyl. So it looks really cool and it's already, it's still a little bit cold so you're seeing the color change right now. Um, but we're going to be making this one and then a butterfly um, cup wrap. So if you want to learn how to make these, then just keep on watching and I'll show you how. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the vinyl and different things that we're going to be using in today's video. So Tech Wrap Vinyl was actually kind enough to send us all of this vinyl and different goodies to use in today's video. So thank you so much Tech Wrap. I am so excited to be able to use this vinyl. Um, I wanted to let you guys know I've actually been using Tech Wrap um, in my business. A lot of their different holographics and different colors with a lot of my projects that I do. So their quality is amazing and they have such a high variety of different things. So um, I wanted to show you guys some of that vinyl that we're going to be using. Um, so the different colors that they have here, diagonal rainbow, Listerian purple, and then we have another diagonal rainbow, pink cyan, purple magenta, rainbow rainbow, purple green, and tea rose. Look how beautiful the colors are of this vinyl. I'm so excited to be able to use it for the butterfly wrap that we're going to be doing. So we have those beautiful vinyl along with all of these color changing vinyls. So these are vinyl that when you put cold drinks or whatever on it, it is going to turn the color of the vinyl. Now this looks dull, but I tested it out. I cut a little strip and put it on cold, um, a cold drink and they turn bright colors. So it's going to be so fun to use for our conversation heart wrap. So we're going to be doing a fun Valentine's day one, and then we're going to be doing a butterfly one. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that here in a second. And then the last two things that we were sent was this adhesive mat. I had no idea that tech wrap actually made these and I'm actually really excited to test it out and see how great it is. Um, this is a 12 by 12 size, so we're going to be trying that out in this video. And also, they sent me this cute weeding pen. If you guys know um, what these are, there's basically a fine tip at the end, and you're able to weed your vinyl with precision, basically. So we have that, and we have a um, squeegee here. You can never have too many of these. I go through a lot of these. <laughs> and then we have some tweezers, which are so pretty. I just love how pretty all their stuff is. And then it all came inside of this little bag. So awesome, let's go ahead and get started with the craft. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the vinyl and different things that we were gonna be using in today's video. All right, first things first, I'm gonna start here in Silhouette Studio, although you can use any software that you choose. I just decided to use this just to show you guys how I measure my cups and how I set up a template for getting an accurate sizing and everything like that. So first I start by measuring my cup with a fabric measuring tape. And the reason why you're gonna wanna do this is because it can go around curved surfaces accurately. If you were gonna try to use some other way to measure, it's not gonna be as accurate. So that's what I did, and I got a measurement of 9.5 width by 4.25 high. Now the reason I did 4.25 high is because I wanted to stop at the curves. Um, you can go over the curves if you like. I just like the look of going under the curve for this particular cup. So once you have your measurement for your cup, you're gonna go here and make a rectangle of that size. Then you're going to fill inside of that rectangle with the different SVG designs that you have for the cup in mind. Um, for the first one, we're going to do butterflies. So we're going to have one color for the background or maybe a couple colors. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. And then we're going to do the black layer, which is going to um, go over that color. And um, I decided to make registration marks for this because what you can do is you can layer everything together so everything matches up perfectly. And I'll show you that here in a second. I did a little bit differently for each way. So um, since I already have everything grouped, I'm just going to ungroup just to show you how I do that here. So all of my blacks are going to be grouped together. So you're going to want to hold down shift and select all of your black layers here. All right, once all my black is selected, I'm going to also select one layer of my registration marks. All I did was make three rectangles here and I made a couple different groups of that. So shift, click, 
right click group. So now all of my black layer is grouped together. And then as you can see, this is already grouped together, but you're going to do the same with your background color. So all of these plus another layer of registration marks are grouped together. So when you cut your vinyl, you have everything set up exactly um, how you need it to be. So this is showing me 9.2 inches by 4.295. So you're going to want to cut your vinyl bigger than that, just a little bit bigger than that. And then you will be able to layer everything together after you weed. And I just realized that I missed one of my polka dots, but that's okay. We'll add that back in just a second. And then next you, um, for these, since um, there's so many different colors, I don't want to waste a whole lot of vinyl coming to registration marks, but for my black and my pink, it will work great because I have pink letters here that need the specific spot that they're already in. It'll just make it a little bit easier to have registration marks. So I already have these grouped in the way that I need them to be. I'm going to be eyeballing the colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all of those off right now. Um, as you can see, I have all of my dark pink with registration marks on them. And I will show you that in a second. Okay, so my black has a layer of registration marks. So that will be weeded first. It will be set down. Then I'm gonna put all of my colors back on top of here and where they're supposed to be. And I'm gonna layer those on by my eye. I'm just gonna eyeball it, put those on. And then when that's done, I'm gonna layer my pink. I'm gonna match that up with those registration marks and they're gonna go layer right on top of that. And that way everything just looks clean and put together. You do not have to use registration marks if you're confident in your skills of layering totally do it. Um, I just wanted to show you a way to do it if you're kind of wanting a quicker way. So now that that's done, everything's ready to line up on our cutting mat. And I'm going to go ahead and size this down a little bit because I'm going to be cutting everything in its own layer. And I'm also going to be trying out the adhesive mat from TechRap too. Um, and they sent me a 12 by 12. So we're just going to go ahead and size this down to a 12 by 12 and we'll be good to go. So now I'm going to go get everything set up to cut and we are going to get this project started. Can we just take a second to admire these beautiful rainbow colors? Oh my gosh. They are so gorgeous. I don't even know which one that I want to choose for the um, butterfly project. I might pick two, maybe three, maybe four. I don't even know. They're all so pretty and they feel different than vinyl. They almost have like a, not rubbery, um, but it's like a very durable texture. Like they don't feel like regular vinyl would feel, which is awesome. I, like I said, I know it's going to be so amazing. So now I just have to narrow it down and pick which one I want. But I just wanted you guys to see as they were open, how gorgeous the colors are and how vibrant they are. So as you can see, here's the texture kind of up close. It has like a little bit of a texture to it and it feels very durable, but that is what it looks like up close. But let me know which one is your favorite. So I wanted to let all of you know that I have a discount code that TechRap gave to all of you. It is simply Sally 10. Anything on their website is 10% off. So I will link that down below. <laughs> So I just wanted to show you guys the color changing vinyl really quick while we're waiting for the vinyl to finish cutting. Um, so this is one of the reddish pinks, but just look at how it changes colors when it touches this cold water. How cool is that? That is just so neat. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish cutting and we will put it all together.
So as you can see here, I decided to add my transfer paper underneath my registration marks and that just helps you line everything up a little bit better because if it sticks down, it's there for good. So adding that paper back down, it just makes things a little bit easier to line those registration marks up. So as you can see here, there is white hearts instead of the black that you saw me weeding out before. I decided since I saw the color changing vinyl and how it's a little bit transparent, I thought that maybe white background would look a little bit better. So I did end up changing that last minute to the white background and I'm glad that I did because it did show up very well. So I just wanted to mention that real quick. So when it comes to putting your decal on your cup, um, just eyeballing it is a good start point. Get it stuck down onto the center and then you just work your way around the sides. As you can see, I added a little bit of my transfer paper back so it wouldn't stick the other side on too quick, but everything lined up well and you just peel it slowly from the corner over and I did that for both cups. I just stuck it down in the middle, worked my way one side, finished that side over and then flipped it over and did the other side. So that is really how you apply these decals. So this is how the color changing cup turned out. I love it. And yes, I did just spill water all over the place. And don't mind, there is a piece of cardboard floating in the cup. I, it was just because the other cup had cardboard in it. But I love how it turned out. I think the colors are super vibrant. As soon as that cold water hits it, I'm definitely gonna be ordering some more of this vinyl. And then in a second, I also show you the butterfly cup. Let me know which one is your favorite. I definitely love them both. Um, remember that I have a 10% discount code down below for Tech Wrap Vinyl. So anything that you purchase on their website, you will get a discount. And I will also link the exact vinyl that I used in today's video. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.